This time at Ask APT, we're going to have a quick look at what a load sense system is and really quickly how it works and um, what it does to the pump and also how it works with a varying speed on a motor. So we have set up our variable speed rig. So this is our PLC and, and variable speed pump. On all we've got set up today is over there we come out of our pressure line, which is red, and we come along and we have our flow control. So the flow control sets the amount of flow that's coming through the circuit. From there, we have our signal line. So this signal line travels all the way back to the pump and down that orange line just there. And that's giving the pump the signal to deliver flow. So it's on the downstream side of the flow control. Flow meter. And then we're using a sequence valve here to give us a load, a dummy load. So we're just simulating having a load. And at the moment, we've got two pressure gauges on here. And the two pressure gauges are reading the pressure across the flow control valve. So we're going to see either side of the flow control. So here is the incoming side, or the pump pressure, and here is the load pressure. And we should see that they're slightly different. So using our flow control, we'll set our flow so that we've got eight litres a minute. And all we're doing is adjusting the flow control in. And we've got eight litres a minute. We've set eight litres a minute. So the flow control there is set at eight litres a minute and our pressure gauges, when we turn them back on, will show us that we have around about 20 bar pressure difference across the two. So that 20 bar is maintained and the pump is gonna maintain that 20 bar across the flow control and that's what maintains the, the flow no matter what the pressure is on our load. So we've got 20 and 20, we've got 27 and seven there on our two gauges. Now if I increase the pressure, so my load pressure on this gauge, if we take that up to 30 bar, my pump pressure is at 50, but my load is only at 30 and our flow hasn't changed. So our flow is still sitting at eight litres a minute, even though we've increased the load pressure. As we increase the load pressure, that's not gonna change. So we can go up a little bit more. And we can keep increasing that until our load pressure reaches almost at our compensator pressure. So if I keep going up, We're just about at our compensator pressure. And so a little bit more at 100 bar. So we've got 100 bar at the pump and 90 on the gauge. And now our flow is starting to drop off. We've dropped from eight litres down to about seven until we're fully compensated. If we go back to eight litres a minute and we'll just set our pressure. We've got about 50 bar load pressure. The other thing that happens with load sense is if we modify our motor speed, so I have speed here on the display, so if I change that down so that we've got a thousand RPM, so 900 RPM, and we're still maintaining our eight litres a minute. And that's because we're maintaining that pressure drop across the flow control and the pump's doing that to keep the flow the same. So that's a load sense system. It keeps our flow the same based on load, but also on our pump speed. So that's load sense in a nutshell. Basically what we're doing is we're using a signal to tell the pump to deliver the flow that we need at the pressure we need and maintain that pressure drop across the flow control or the orifice. Now that flow control might be in a valve bank. It might be a flow control just like that, or it might be in a mono block or whatever it is. So that flow control is just the speed that we're asking the pump to deliver the flow for. Hope you found that interesting. Ask your questions below, send us an email or let us know what you'd like to know and we'll try and get a video out to you.